All right, guys, we're gonna do a versus video between the Ryobi HP that just came out in 2021 against the uh, Rigid. We will be using a three amp hour octane battery for the Rigid and a three amp hour uh, HP battery for the Ryobi. And both of these batteries have 21700 cells in them. So I believe that this will be a fair fight. I'm actually curious to see on how well these actually do against each other. So the model number for the Rigid is R86039. I'll put the specs in the video as the tool is working. And the model number for the Ryobi is PBLID02. They both have a speed selectors and a variable trigger. So I still need to do a video on the Rigid because it, the Rigid has a lot of different types of settings just like the Makita does. All right, so let's see how well these do against each other. It is on speed three and the battery is full. Three amp hour octane battery with Bluetooth. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Wow. That actually took a while. I wasn't expecting that. Battery is full. Speed three. All right, so ready, go. Time. Alrighty, so next let's do a uh, one eighth by six inch lag. All right, ready? Go. Time. Ready? Go. Oh, a little bit more. Time. Oh, let's take out rigids. Rigid also does have a little paddle switch for the lights underneath. Try LED beam on the front. Ready? Go. Time. And yes, uh, both, of the, both of them are actually quick insert collets. All right, ready? Go. Time. All right, so next let's do a uh, six inch specs. Ready? Go. Time. Ready? Go. Time. All right, let's take rigids out. Ready? Go. Take out Ryobi's. Ready? Go. Time. And just to show you guys, Rigid is a quick insert collet. Next, we're going to do an 8 inch timber lock. Ready? Go. Time. You see, the 8 inch timber locks really makes those impacts really work. Ready? Go. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Take out rigids. Ready? Go. Take out Ryobi's. Ready? Go. There we go. Not sure when. Not sure what happened with that one. As soon as it, uh, I'll edit the time. As soon as it goes up, uh, that's when the timer starts. I do not know why it's spun in place. For the final two tests, let's go for the bigger stuff. Let's do a four inch by half inch lag and a six inch by half inch lag, and see how well these could actually do these. Rigid will be first. Non pre drill holes. There's no point on doing a pre drill. Ready? Go. I think that's time. That is time. Ready? Go. I think that's time. Time. Let's take rigids out. Ready? Go. I'm actually curious what the time is on these. This, this is a good test. I'm curious. Ready? Go. Time. You guys got to admit that Ryobi, the new Ryobi HP line stuff is actually pretty decent. 
It really is. For the final test, we are gonna do a six inch lag. Ready? Go. Did it stop or is it done? Yep, it, it did stop rotating. Oh, it stopped rotating. Give it one more pull because I don't want to destroy this uh, this adapter. Yeah, it stopped, it stopped rotating. So the, uh, about a quarter of an inch, about a quarter of an inch left. We are not gonna have Ryobi finish that off until it could prove that it could do its own. Ready? Go. And it broke. Are you serious? Again, I'm going through these adapters like crazy. Let's see if Ryobi finished it. Yep, Ryobi did finish it. Uh, let's see if it can finish uh, rigids. Yes, it can. Finish rigids as well. All right, so let's take rigids out. Ready? Go. Time. Rigid was able to take it out. Let's take Ryobi's out. Ready? Go. Time. All right, the final temperature for the rigid is 101 degrees for the rigid, 101, and the battery life of the rigid is three bars. The battery life of the Ryobi is three bars as well. And the final battery life for the Ryobi, 99, 93, 97, 97 degrees, not too shabby. They both pretty much ran about the same temperature. All right guys, so when it comes to these tools, I feel like the Ryobi did better than the Octane did. I'll give Rigid a little slack because this is an older tool and this is a 2021 tool. And so yeah, but I do need to get the new Rigid tools that are out with that new special 4 amp hour battery. When it comes to Ryobi, you guys got to admit that Ryobi's doing pretty good. Now I will admit this, Ryobi should have had this power years ago. Many years ago because Ryobi's been out for so long. And this should have been, this kind of power should have been out a long time ago. But they're getting better though. They are getting better. Uh, like I said, both of these are 21700 cell batteries. So this test was completely fair. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.